Well, I have my old 10th generation here, which is getting retired. Eh, somewhat retired, mostly retired. But anyway, I have some of my old NVMe drives that are still on the motherboard that still has the windows on it and still I think uh, I think it's drive D has a bunch of or drive A something like that it has a bunch of data on it pictures and files that I already have transferred over to my new computer so today what I want to show you is how to actually delete these fairly securely where you can actually it's as if you were getting a new drive sent to you in the mail if you bought it on Amazon or anywhere else it's going to look like it's going to be uninitialized and none of the data is going to be there anymore other than if you were to send it to some data recovery center they may be able to extract some data still but that costs a ton of money and no average user is going to be able to get to your information i'm going to show you how to do this so if you just stick with me i'm going to show you how so one of the things you are going to need if you are deleting the one that has windows on it well you're not going to be able to delete it if it's in the PC that you need to delete it in. And that's the one that's running Windows. You're gonna to need to take that drive out and then you're gonna to need to get one of these guys, something like this, or an NVMe enclosure or M.2 enclosure if it's a SATA based uh, M.2. But you're gonna need something like that to actually do what I'm gonna show you on another computer. And I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do this, so don't worry. All right, so let's get right over here and we're gonna click on our, our file explorer there and we go to this PC and we can see that I have two drives here. We have drive A and drive C. Now drive C is the one I'm talking about where you're gonna to need to have one of these to get past that. Drive A is the one we're gonna focus on right now because I have all this information on my new computer as I said. So. The way we're gonna do this is we wanna delete drive A. And we wanna figure out what drive A is. So we wanna to go to, this is Windows 10 by the way. This works exactly the same for Windows 11. Do a right click on the start menu. We're gonna come up to disk management. And then you can expand the disks right here. So we have disk zero and disk one. Now we can see right here, it is labeled disk zero is our NVMe drive letter A. That's the one that we want. So just remember disk zero. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to the search bar. We're gonna type in CMD and see right here at the top, it says command prompt. So we're gonna do a right click. We're gonna run as administrator. And now we have system 32, that's exactly what we want. And I believe, yeah, I got the right keyboard. I was wondering if I had the right keyboard. So right here, what we're gonna type in is disk part. So disk space part, hit enter. Oh, no, it's, it's one word, excuse me. It's disk part without a space. There we go. So now we're in disk part, as you can see. Now we're gonna type in list space, this time, disk. So it's L-I-S-T space disk, D-I-S-K. We're gonna hit enter. Now we can see we have a couple of selections here. We have disk zero and disk one. Remember, we wanted disk zero. So our next line, because it, it, it even shows the sizes and all that, um, just to inform you of what's what disk it is but right here we are going to type in select disk zero with spaces in between all those words oops that was an o we want zero <laughs> and we just hit enter now it says disk zero or disk zero is now selected so now we're gonna type in the word clean, C-L-E-A-N, clean. And you don't have to put clean zero, it's already selected on that disk. And we're gonna hit enter. And disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. So look at that. So now you can see right here, it is unallocated. So basically it's like the drive is brand new. 
we can actually exit out of that and we can come right back up here to disk management and what it's going to do is pop up just like that you got a brand new disk now you can initialize it again and reformat it if you choose so or put the drive in another system so what we're going to do here is cancel that now just to demonstrate I'm going to go to CMD again. We're going to go right click, run it as administrator. Come in here, we're going to go to uh, disk part again. And we're going to go to list disk. And it does have zero still in there because it kind of sees it. But we're going to do um, select disk one. Now this would be our main drive. Now it's selected, now I'm gonna do the clean on it. Now, who wants to bet if this is gonna work or not? So we're gonna go ahead and clean. And look at that, there's an error because it won't let you do it because there is Windows on it. So it's protecting it from doing that. So I kinda just wanted to demonstrate that so you knew um, that you can't do it accidentally. All right, so now that I've showed you that way with it in the actual system, if you have any other drives except for the Windows drive hooked up to your system, you can do it that exact way. Now you're still doing it the same way with the C drive, but you have to take the C drive physically out of the machine, plug it into something to plug it into another machine, or physically put it in another machine that's it won't be running Windows, uh, but you might have to do a boot override because it might see that. So you got to be careful with that. That's why the safest way is to do it with something like this or an enclosure, enclosure I should say, and that'll be your safest way. But let's get this NVMe actually out of the system and we'll put it in one of these and I'll show you a step-by-step -step on how to do it again just with one of these. All right, well, I have the NVMe drive out here. It's our one terabyte. Remember, we just did a two terabyte and now I have this. Again, you can use an enclosure if you want, but this one just kind of simply, it goes right in here. You can see where the notch is, you line up the notch, put it in there, and then get your cable that it came with so you can have the proper speed. And we're gonna plug that in here. And now we're gonna plug it into the actual computer here. And I have one type C display port. We can see that the it lights up. We need to come, now this is Windows 11 now, and this is on my Dark Dragon build. But <clears throat> anyway, we need to come up here to disk management. We wanna see which drive it is. I only have two drives currently in this system uh, with that one hooked up. So <clears throat> we have our C drive, which is the one we do not want. We want the one where it does have a little bit of a 93 gigabytes of unallocated space that is for over provisioning through the Samsung Magician software that was done. So we want disk one this time. And we can see it says D drive because C drive was already installed on that computer. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna come right here, CMD. Uh, oh, I got the wrong key. No, I got the right keyboard. What's going on here? No, I got the wrong keyboard. We got CMD again, and we're gonna do a right click, run as administrator. And now we have, we're gonna do the same thing, disk part, all one word. And there we go. Now we're gonna do list disk with a space in between. And we can see we have two of them. We want a disk one, so we wanna type in select disk one and make sure that's all spelled correctly and we can hit enter now disk one is selected now we can type in clean now don't worry if it is the actual c drive of this computer you're safe it's not going to delete it but any other drive that's connected if you had multiple drives be sure you have the right one that's all i'm saying because there's no going back after this unless you have a recovery of this actual drive. Like if you had an image, a backup of this drive. Now just give this, this might take a minute or so because it is larger, but we can see that it is already done.
So let's go back up here to disk management and we can see automatically that it pops up as if you just bought the disk or the drive or the SSD, whatever you want to call it. It's whatever, because this works for anything, mechanical or solid state. So it's as if you just bought a new drive and you're initializing it for the first time. There's no data on it. All right, guys, well, I hope you learned something. And once again, be sure and cautious of that clean command at the end. Make sure you have the right disk selected before hitting execute on that clean command, because there's no coming back from that. So if you have a backup, which you should, but if you have one, then you can restore it. If you don't, no, I don't know what to tell you. So anyway, uh, hit that like button for me, show me some support, and also feel free to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified for any future comments. Also, comment down below if you wish. And until next time, guys, take care.